The National Youth Water Summit of 2014 was held at Birchwood Hotel from 29 June to 4 July. Monash South Africa, through the Water Research Node, were invited by the National Department of Water and Sanitation to be partners in this event. Funding was provided by Monash South Africa and the International Water Security Network to participate in the event. Monash took a permanent team of seven master's students and two staff members, all of whom are also involved in the International Water Security Network. Several other students came in to attend day-long sessions. The summit had several events and Monash was asked to assist with and participate in several of these. Professor Bimo and Carter and several of the students participated in the Out of School Youth Programme, with BMO giving a keynote address on integrating environmental education into the water sector implementation plan. We also address the issues that are so important in society, like environmental education, that we need an educated, a well-informed society that is aware of the environmental challenges, the issues that we have around the environment. That is very important. Students also attended sessions such as the Fundisa for Change program, the Minister's field trip to Modafontein Sprait, where they conducted a mini SAS water quality analysis with the Honourable Deputy Minister, Ms. Pam Chwete. Monash South Africa were especially invited to participate in a career expo, an exhibition display, specifically designed to encourage learners to enter into careers in the water sector. Monash students promoted freshwater conservation at the exhibition stand through the use of two fish tanks, one showing a clean, healthy freshwater ecosystem and the other showing a degraded freshwater ecosystem. Several discussions were then held with learners. The exhibition stand also promoted the International Water Security Network and the research the students are involved in. A visual display showing the globe, a tennis ball and a tiny marble drove the message of just how much fresh water is available on the Earth's surface. The organisers estimated that over 1,000 learners visited the Career Expo and Exhibition stands. The final event in which Monash participated was a gala dinner hosted by Monash and the International Water Security Network to all learners who had won bursaries from the National Department during the Youth Summit. The event was held on the evening of Friday the 4th of July. Miss Liesel Craig, a former master's student of Monash South Africa and now a lecturer at UNISA, gave a keynote address about her journey and experiences in the water sector and how undertaking the master's degree led her into a permanent career in the water sector. So I decided and I found the master's degree in integrated water management at Monash and I found it and I started, I was one of the first group of students that studied the degree, um, started with it in 2010. And uh, we were very privileged. We all received um, a full scholarship from the International Water The team Center. then showed videos that dealt specifically with water quality and security issues. Small breakaway sessions were then initiated in which two master students sat with a group of about 10 learners to give the learners an opportunity to ask questions, anything related from water to careers. The evening ended with a fun quiz lots of prizes and the establishment of a forum for continued engagement and communication going forward. Monash South Africa will also be preparing the official summit conference report and proceedings of the event for the National Department of Water and Sanitation.